Welcome back everybody to Desert Likes, and today we are reviewing the Goldar from Mighty Morphing Power Rangers and this one is by Hasbro. I used to love the show as a kid but really haven't seen any of the episodes since but the reason I got this figure is because I really wanted to collaborate with Zeltra X Crimson so please go and check out his channel as his comedy skits are hilarious. So here's a quick spin of the box and mostly what it is is a white and gold theme with some art and shots of the figure all around. Overall, it's simple and gets the job done. Alright, you know what time it is. By the way, this channel is now an affiliate with Hobby Link Japan. They carry Figmas, Nendroids, Scale Figures, Loot Figures, and even to my surprise, some Loot Bedroom Toys. So if you're looking to buy some waifus, then click the link down below and help support this channel so we can continue doing degenerate things. Starting off with accessories, we see he comes with a basic painted sword that is silver, red, and gold. What's cool is that it comes with this translucent red effects part, and so it really makes the sword look like it's flaming. I think it's flaming, but not quite fire. Other than that, he comes with one claw hand, one fist hand, and some very tiny wings that look like they're very easy to break, so I'm kind of afraid to move them or try to pull them out. As for paint and sculpt, I feel like he is flawless in the sculpting department and there are no molding mistakes. In fact, I really appreciate the amount of detail that this figure has when it comes to his armor as it's finely textured and there is a lot to appreciate. His face is also super well done and it is looking mighty ferocious. What's not so impressive though is the paint is a bit basic and overall I feel like the presentation is a little bit bland. Alright, so moving on to range of motion, he is very pleasant to hold and pose. I will say that he is not the most flexible figure I've ever handled, um, but what they did do is they made his shoulder pads and his skirt armor a soft plastic, so that definitely does help. The worst of the articulated points is definitely in the neck, as the range of motion for that is almost abysmal. But if we're being honest here, this guy is in a full set of armor, so in real life, you wouldn't be able to be that flexible either. Next, we review the Extreme Sets Dungeon Diorama that will be used in this stop motion. I've bought a few of these dioramas from Extreme Sets before, and it's kind of a hit and miss on satisfaction. So let's see about this one and review it quickly. What you get is a 112 scale diorama that includes four walls, one being a plain green stone, one with an oval door, one with a rectangular door, and then one with two cells. They also include a protruding rectangular wall. Then they also include a staircase that is assembled by putting a few structures together and they look just like that. And then as well there is two basic pillars. And then lastly there is a grey stone flooring. Overall it is a great diorama to have and is very fun to use. There's a lot of people on Instagram doing some great photo shots with that if you want to go and take a look. But what I'd say is that the flooring is a bit unpleasant to use as it's a huge square uh, piece of cardboard that folds on itself and so what you end up is with a lot of warping of the flooring and so it makes it hard to use and make everything look level. And as well, the fire sticks are a flat design on the walls, and so it sort of ruins the immersion and feels a bit lazy for this diorama. But if it sounds up your alley, it's about $80 on the Extreme Sets website. Alright, and so enough of that, let's move on to the stop motion. Kazuma, we've been searching this dungeon for hours and my feet hurt. Can't we take a break? All you've been doing is complaining this whole trip. Why don't you be useful for once and shut your mouth and help me look? We've got to be close to finding that crystal. <sighs> my armored sword is heavy and not meant for long distance walking. Every part of my body is aching and drenched in sweat. Kazuma-chan, perhaps we should take a small break. Absolutely not. <sighs> my master is so cruel. He's pushing my body and mind to the very edge. I can barely keep myself together. There she goes again. Ugh. 
Masochistic freak? <laughs> yes, Kazuma-sama! Break me even more! Her discipline is pushing me even farther! <laughs> Adventurers, I suppose. Maybe they're also looking for the crystal. You're probably right. Let's kick his fucking ass. Hey, dickhead! Get over here. It's time for you to get an ass whooping. Look at this little run right here. Oh, no. He can't no, even defend there. himself. No, 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 no. Look at this. Is he crying? Hey, asshole. You like adventuring now? Oh, I'm not done with you just yet, little boy. We're five times together if you know what I mean. My no. friends over here still want to kick your ass. So I want to do something else with your ass. I can imagine here. Go with being a bull breed, bitch. Oh, we're not done with you yet, son Jim. Help. We're gonna kick your ass all day and all night. Hey guys, do something! <laughs> You're all so useless! Time to have the fun with Uncle Goldor! No, no, not again! Well, another adventure failed. I could really go for a drink right now. What about you all? We could go to the tavern we passed by on the way here. What was it called? Uh, that sounds so nice! I think it was called Lord Set's Grill and Brewery. Awesome. Let's go. Bye, Kazuma. You're all so useless. And let us make a special thank you to the epic voice actors in this degenerate stop motion. A big thank you to Wen Ding, who doesn't currently have contact information out yet, as he does prefer to approach creators himself, but I just wanted to say, you're awesome. Thank you so much, Snooki, for your beautiful voice acting skills. Not only is she a voice actress, but she is also an animator, and she posts onto YouTube. So click on the link below in the description and see her stuff. Thank you Saturn Savvy 94 for your outstanding performance. She is a voice acting rock star and can be found on Casting Call Club under the same name. Thank you Zultra X Crimson for your unhinged voice acting. He is a talented animator and voice actor, so please subscribe to his YouTube channel which is linked below. Thank you Mr. Crustacean for your spot on performance. He is also a YouTuber making fresh memes, so go check out his stuff, link below. And a loving thank you to Christine. She is an exclusive voice actor for Does What It Likes, and I could not be more lucky to have you in my life. All the links to reach our wonderful voice actors will be in the description below, so please go and support all of their content, because remember, without these voice actors, our original pieces would not be possible. So there he is next to Figma Major. There he is next to the Mondo. There he is next to Michael Myers by NECA. There he is next to Reika from Gantz. And lastly, there he is next to the 1-4 scale Ryoko, the bunny version. Alright, and so overall, this figure is very solid to have. What's best is that you can handle him, and he's a pleasure to hold. And with there not being too much of a paint job on this, you don't have to worry about paint transfer or chipping at all. The con is that he looks kind of basic and so the gold doesn't look so gold like I would say and then as well some of the range of motion is minimal for long term I do worry about breaking the wrists as the peg for that is very th very toothpick like and then as well his wings look like they can be broken pretty easy and then lastly he doesn't hold the sword so well I don't know what uh, the issue is with that but if that sounds up your alley, he's very cheap, so he's around the $25 to $30 mark, so there you go. Otherwise, that is it for me. Please leave a like and subscribe, comment your thoughts, follow me in my figure collection, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, and so ends another Does What It Likes review. Hope you liked it. What'd you think, Mr. Executioner? How about you? Or you?
Well, my guests seem to be a bit busy at the moment. Please consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram, my figure collection. Like, comment, and share. And if you're really into this degeneracy, hit the bell.